Hello, this is Barnacle Bill. I had a few requests to go over some of my setups. So the first thing that I'd like to go over is the volume profile. Now this is a monthly chart and you see this uh, profile here. Let me just show you how to get to this uh, number one. So you go to uh, studies. I go to edit studies and um, the first thing that I want to point out is that I have a TPO profile and a volume profile. So let me just explain the difference. Um, this is, let me just show you on crude. This is a TPO profile. This is what it looks like. Each one of these represents a half hour, uh, each one of these lines. Um, this is the same chart, but instead of it um, showing this Gaussian shape, uh, these are ex what, what they call expanded, expanded TPO profiles. So that's what a TPO profile is. So in this other chart, <clears throat> um, this is showing what the TPO profile would look like if um, they were all put together, all the TPOs put together on this chart. Another way to look at that would be over here. So th this is the TPOs, uh, expanded TPOs, and this is what the expanded, uh, this is what the TPO um, histogram would look like. So this is what you're seeing on the monthly chart over here. That's the same thing as this. Now on top of that, I also have Besides the TPO profile, just to show you, I have the volume profile on here. They're going to be different. Um, the TPO just shows you where price has been. The volume shows you how much uh, traded at that price. And uh, you may want to use one or the other uh, depending on how you use market profile. I just want to let you know that there's a difference. And also on the on the TOS pro, pro, uh, platform, the volume profile is not as accurate. Um, they, they handle their data, their data comes in a little bit differently than um, say uh, data from from IQ feed or, or DTN or CQG or something like that. So this is what uh, a volume profile would look like. <clears throat> and if you compare it apples to apples, the same uh, the same as what you have from um, a toss sometimes they'll be different sometimes the point of control may be a you know a couple ticks away it's it's very close you can use it but um you just have to give it more room <laughs> uh so this is showing you the same thing this is a volume profile so number one i just wanted to show you the difference you can see here this is uh the tpo uh profile and this um and this is the volume profile. And this is the point of control on the one, this is the point of control on the other. <clears throat> so there's a difference between TPO and, and volume, and there's gonna be a difference between the volume uh, profile that you get on the toss chart and perhaps another uh, charting package. So the first thing that I wanted to show you was how to get there, and that's through the studies. Okay, uh, the next thing that I'd like to show you is that you can have a cumulative uh, profile from everything that's on the chart, and you can have a profile for every day. Or you can have a, a profile for <clears throat> uh, a week. 
or you can have a profile for a month or however you want to work it so this is this is how this is how that works you go to um, you go to studies edit studies and if you want volume profile you come down here to the V's volume profile and you add it to over here now as you can see I have two volume profiles here so one you can see is uh, for the whole chart and that's this thing over here and the other is uh, just for a, a day okay so let's look at the one for the chart and you go that there by that little wheel so for the chart um, I have uh, the tick size you can make it automatic which you don't want to use I don't think so you can use a cu custom which you know if uh, you know, you could have you know one tick or uh, five ticks and I can show you that in the uh, TPO profile what uh, it's more um, applicable to that okay this is very important this is on the expansion yes or no now if you <clears throat> If you say yes on the expansion, then it's going to show up over here. If you say no, then it's going to show up over here. Okay, so the expansion just means that you're expanding the chart to the right, and this is where it's going to show up. So that is for uh, for the whole chart. Now for the day, do I want it on the expansion? No. I want it where the day is so I just put no there um, day okay uh, you have a multiplier there do you just want one day do you want you know five days which would be a week do you want you know uh, whatever <clears throat> and then of course you can show the point of control and value area and opacity so I hope that helps with that now on the TPO profile let's just take a look at this one over here okay this is the ES all right it, it doesn't even fit you know we've had so much volatility that it doesn't even fit on the chart this was yesterday right so you can do this but then once you get it to you know you can't see it anymore okay so there is something that you can do for that now <clears throat> this tpo is found in a different place uh let's see where is this found styles um chart mode and this is the monkey bars so this profile over here is a study and this would replace that say um your candlesticks or anything like that so style you go to uh, style and chart mode monkey bars this is monkey bars expanded that's what this shows if you click on style and you click on settings and you click on appearance then that shows the different settings for this now it normally comes in red um, normally comes in red and I change that to green up here in this corner green and yellow I, I could see it better for this charting platform if you had a black background you may make want to make it white whatever so settings <clears throat> appearance so the first thing you see here is tick size and that's our problem here I have it set for tick size and it's not even fitting on the chart or, and if if it I do get it fit on the chart I can't really see anything so when it's really volatile I'll, I'll make a custom setting now uh, automatic setting doesn't do anything for me there I, I don't think that that's very re relevant so I put it on custom and right now I have it um, I guess that's one point uh, so for for every dot here that would be one point as you can see here the the dots are one two three four like five points here <clears throat> and that's uh, handles not ticks we're talking about handles um, so you can have uh, 
regular tick size that every tick is uh, one of these numbers going up and down the chart or you can have custom I believe this every for every um, handle you're going to have one of these so let's see what this looks like and it's much more manageable and you can see um, at uh, 1870 there's a set 1871 so for every handle so basically this through uh, your settings uh, appearance and you can adjust these things and you can you know see how I have it set up And I hope that helps. All right, thanks.